everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all really, really well. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through 10 essentials you need for your autumn wardrobe this autumn. So as always, everything will be linked in the description box down below, so don't forget to check that out. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. For me, layering is definitely key when it comes to an autumn wardrobe. Here in the UK, the weather is so unpredictable. One minute it can be quite warm and the next it's super frosty, so you really don't know what you're about to get on that day. Also, I don't know about you, but I'm always really on the go and I'm getting on and off tubes and public transport which can be quite warm and also I never know what the temperature is going to be like in the office so, so layering is definitely important in my wardrobe especially in autumn. So my first autumn essential is definitely a silk blouse. I absolutely love silk blouses and I buy all of my silk blouses from Lily Silk. They have the most amazing selection of products ranging from pyjamas, bedding, hair scrunchies, um, as well as clothing, um, all in kind of a really high quality natural fibres. However, in particular, my favourite item to buy from Lily Silk are their blouses and in particular their silk pussy bow blouses. I have so many of them in different colours and styles and they are just so so luxurious and really really easy to style. Another reason why I love the silk blouses is they are super easy to layer. They look really cute on their own but you can also stick them under jumpers and cardigans as an extra layering piece. You can take the jumper off if you get too hot um, but also because they're quite a fine material they're, they're not going to bulk you up you get really hot and stuffy and um, so yeah they are perfect for layering. Silk in particular is great for layering as it is a natural thermal regulator which means it keeps you hot in the winter and cool in the summer which is exactly what you need for autumn with the varying temperatures we go through. Lily Silk uses the highest quality materials all made from 100% premium natural materials which are obviously a little bit more environmentally friendly as well as I have read that they take 50 times faster to decompose than their synthetic counterparts which is obviously amazing for the environment but also Lily Silk is also zero waste which means that any offcuts of the fabrics that they don't use they try and incorporate it into products um, such as their scrunchies and their eye masks which are absolutely gorgeous they are so luxurious and really lovely to have and lovely to gift to other people um, and they also work with a recycling company called TerraCycle uh, where they recycle all of their scrap materials that they don't get to use for the scrunchies and things like that so Lily Silk is just my favourite place to shop silk um, I love the brand as a whole and I love their products so I actually have a couple of new blouses from Lily Silk to show you including the one that I've been holding um, this one is the most beautiful kind of golden caramel colour it is so luxurious the colour is so Oh, it's so dreamy, the perfect colour for autumn. I don't know whether you're going to be able to tell from my rail, but in autumn, I definitely have a colour palette. Lots of browns, lots of neutrals, lots of creams, and obviously a little bit of pink, as it is me. Um, so this blouse is going to fit perfectly in my wardrobe. It, this one actually doesn't have a removable uh, pussy bow. Um, the pussy bow is actually attached to the collar, which is a nice design detail, and like I say, it will look beautiful beautiful over the top of cardigans and jumpers and things like that and even poking out a little tweed jacket um, so yeah I cannot wait to style this one up it is just so so stunning um, and yeah I it's unlike any of the colours that I've got um, previously from Lily Silk so definitely one that I will get my wear out. So here is the next silk blouse that I have to show you. This one is a little bit different again from the other ones I own. I own a lot of the silk that is quite shiny um, very kind of girly and feminine however this one I would say is more of like a matte silk. It is still 100% silk it's just a different type of silk um, however I find this one is a little bit more casual and and maybe more appropriate for work and things like that um, but I still really really love this blouse it has the most beautiful collar and kind of 
front down here in this kind of frill style. This reminds me very much of riding blouses, um, including they have the little frill on the cuff here as well. So poking out the bottom of tweed jackets and things like that, this is going to look absolutely beautiful. It's super classic. It's just a plain white, off-white blouse. So it's going to go with so many different things in my wardrobe. And the fact that it's so classic makes it a great investment piece. I absolutely love Lily Silk for investment pieces um, as they last so, so, so long. And although they are slightly higher price point, the materials that they're made out of are so much more luxurious and they last a longer time than maybe kind of polyester synthetic type materials. So. My next autumn essential that I have to show you are cashmere jumpers and in particular I personally prefer a roll neck jumper just to add that added little bit of warmth around the neck and um, they look really really chic um, and you can kind of layer them more as well again pop them underneath a cardigan and um, a tweed jacket anything like that um, and it just gives your neck a little bit of extra warmth um, so yeah roll necks in particular but cashmere again is great for layering um, and to wear in the colder months and in the warmer months because it again has that natural thermal regulatory material um, which makes your body be able to breathe more you're not going to be out you're not going to be sweating it in it as much um, but it's great as it keeps your body cool in summer but also warm in winter which is perfect again as I say for autumn. Um, you can pick up cashmere in quite a few different um, places. This one again is from Lily Silk. They have great affordable cashmere items um, in again really high quality materials um, but they have lots of different styles as well all really classic so they're all timeless investment pieces that you're definitely going to get your wear out of and that will not go out of style um, so I of course here have a cream one um, just because cream goes with everything it goes with everything in my autumn wardrobe um, with midi skirts with little pleated skirts under tweed dresses things like that you just cannot go wrong with a cream cashmere jumper but equally I do buy cashmere from other brands such as Marks and Spencer again really nice quality um, and they again have like super timeless styles um, such as this one I got quite a while ago it's just a plain camel one and I've bought this out year after year in autumn okay the next autumn essential that I have to show you it is midi skirts now, midi skirts are so timeless, again, they never go out of style, they always look super, super elegant and you always look so expensive wearing them. When the weather goes a little bit cooler, you can pop on thermal leggings underneath a midi skirt and you never be able to tell that they're there and yet you're still really, really warm. But yeah, I have two here to show you which, um, this one is a couple of years old, again from Lily Silk, it is made out of of 100% silk and it's in this kind of dark brown luxurious fabric um, that's completely pleated um, so very classic in style um, and will go with a lot of different items but yeah I really got my wear out of this last year especially um, these are great to wear for work you can pop just a little cashmere jumper on and you're warm and good to go and you look super professional and elegant but equally they can be really dressed up with a nice blouse and a nice necklace and some earrings or something like that so yeah these are really an essential for me in my wardrobe but yeah Lily Silk brings these designs back every year so I thought I'd show you this one um, and link similar down below because I'm sure they'll have something again like this this year because it's super classic um, but a new one that I have recently got into my wardrobe is this one and um, this is again from Lily Silk and this time it's in a more kind of just a flowy type of skatery style skirt um, in this gorgeous champagne gold colour. So again, a really nice neutral, can be dressed up or down. And yeah, I really, really love this colour. It is so even festive. I think this will absolutely look beautiful at Christmas time. Um, I love how the silk is so smooth and shiny. It just adds that little bit of glamour and luxury to an outfit. Um, but this with a little pair of heels in 
to dress it up uh, with a nice blouse or even with a cashmere jumper again and some little loafers will be great for work. Um, but yeah, definitely going to get my wear out of it this year. I cannot wait to style it different ways this autumn um, and it will definitely be worn in um, when I go to work as well. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's such a beautiful piece. My next autumn essential is a pleated skirt, specifically a pleated mini skirt. Now I've included these in my autumn essentials video because I've realised number one that I have a quite a few of them. They are super classic again in design, they seem to come back year after year. They're very um, girly and preppy which is of course very my style um, but the fact that they're so classic um, means that you can re-wear them, you don't ever have to invest um, again and again in a trend style skirt. These skirts come back every single year um, and so I think that's why I have so many in my wardrobe. My ultimate favourite one that I have is this one. It's Although it looks black on camera, I assure you that it is not. It is actually a dark brown colour and it's literally just from ASOS. And again, because they are so classic, ASOS brings these types of skirts back every single year on repeat and they go with so many different items. The Pussy Bow blouses from Lily Silk would add a really good kind of preppy look uh, with a little tweed jacket that is so my autumn style um, little cashmere jumpers for when it gets a bit colder and a little trench coat and some over the knee boots there are endless ways that you can style a pleated skirt but yeah I as I said I have quite a few um, pleated skirts so I actually have this one which is a few years old from Zara but again they bring these out quite a few um, quite a few times um, every year uh, so this one's quite like a little faux leather one. This one is again in a neutral shade. I recommend buying pleated skirts in neutral shades um, or kind of core basic colours that will go with so many different things. Just for choice, I also have a couple of new ones here to show you. Um, so this one is literally new today. I literally got received it in the post today. It's, it's kind of pleated. It kind of... Um, fits and then flares out in a little pleat at the bottom and it's from ASOS again so I'll link it down below for you. It's in this really classic kind of houndstooth design where you've got a light beige, a brown and I think a black in there so so many different colours you can style with this skirt um, and I thought this one would be really easy to style and a great kind of piece, um, timeless piece to keep in my wardrobe. Um, I also picked up this one from H&M, anything in a kind of plaid kind of style and um, plaid pattern even is really really autumnal for me, there's something about wearing plaid in autumn, um, I don't know, it's just one of those things isn't it? Um, so yeah, I had to keep it when I uh, placed my order. Um, it's again in my favourite kind of autumnal shades, the beiges, browns and creams, uh, which makes it really easy to slot into my wardrobe and I know I'll get the wear out of it. And then recently I've been getting a lot of black into my wardrobe, so I actually invested in my first black pleated skirt. This one is from Urban Revivo. Um, it's just really simple, really classic, um, there's nothing super interesting about it but it makes it's just the most easy styling piece it's really easy to style up um, again with a little pair of maybe patterned black tights a little pearly black cardigan something like that and some knee-high boots this will look really chic and elegant and my next autumn essential is going to be a tweed cord um, as if they come together um, so I actually have a few new ones here to show you. Tweed is a great fabric for autumn because it's not too thick and it's not too thin. So again, with your layering pieces, just pop a tweed jacket over the top and you should be warm enough for autumn. So the first new one that's in my wardrobe is this one from Shopsider. I'm sure you know why I love this. It's got pearls, it's cream, it's got gold sparkles in there. It's just absolutely to die for. Um, and yeah, great one to add to my autumn wardrobe because of the colours um, but yeah this one was super affordable as well I've got a few different kind of price points to show you when it comes to uh, tweed cohorts and they're all still available to shop so I'll link them all down below um, but yeah this is the first one that's new in my wardrobe this is definitely a more of a dressy one I would say but you could still wear the little jacket on its own with a pair of trousers or something like that 
and a little pussy bow blouse or a cashmere roll neck and wear it to work. Um, I think it just makes it a little bit more dressy with the tweed skirt as well. The next one that I have to show you, and I don't think I've actually shown this on my channel yet, um, but of course when I think of tweed, Zara comes to mind. Zara sell tweed, tweed sets and cohorts every single year. All, all throughout all the different seasons and I always can't resist picking one up. So this is the newest Zara cohort in my um, wardrobe. I'm sure you will have seen this all over TikTok, all over Instagram. It's the most beautiful tweed, um, cream and gold tweed jacket. This is a more structured jacket than the cider one that I showed you. And instead of a skirt, it comes with a little pair of shorts. Um, it's really beautiful, it's got these gold buttons that look really luxurious and it'll go beautifully with my little gold lily silk blouse. I mean, that colour combination is to die for. Um, but I really like wearing shorts as well. Um, I do think they are a little bit warmer because they keep, keep you completely covered and you don't get a breeze. Um, but with some over the knee boots or some tights or something like that, this cohort will look beautiful in autumn. The next tweed cohort that I have to show you is the most expensive of the bunch. It's this one from And Other Stories. Now, I felt really naughty when I bought this, but I have to say it's probably my most worn tweed cohort in my wardrobe now. Something about it is just so easy to style. I think it's the kind of darker colours. As I showed you my pleated skirts, I have dark brown and light brown, and this jacket goes with all of them. Um, but I did end up keeping the skirt as well because I thought it was quite professional. It's in an A-line style, um, which makes it perfect for work as well, um, with some nice kind of brown tights and knitted pointed toe shoes. Um, they would look, it, it just makes the perfect work outfit. And again, with a little cashmere jumper, it's the perf perfect warmth for autumn. Um, so this is definitely an essential little cohort in my wardrobe, although it was a little bit more expensive. It is kind of better quality than the other ones, it keeps its structure quite well and I have worn it so many times. And then finally the last tweed cohort that I have um, that's new in my wardrobe, um, but this is probably the most affordable out of the bunch. It's literally just from Shein um, and it's from Motif Premium, so it's their premium um, selection. Um, so it is a better quality. I would say that you wouldn't even guess this is from Shein. It is very, very good quality. It's again in these kind of dark brown, light brown and cream kind of um, checked tweed, which is so my style. And it's got the most beautiful little buttons on there as well. Um, and then it's got the little A-line skirt to match. So again, really perfect for work as well. But I've worn this quite a lot as well. Um, I actually got the jacket off of Depop because I didn't have, I had the um, black and white checked jacket, um, but they ran out of it in my size in the brown. Um, so I actually got this off of Depop and it was super affordable. Um, so I recommend checking Depop as well. They, I'm sure they have a uh, tweed, um, tweed sets over there on Vinted I mean as well um, that you can get for really affordable and obviously it's more environmentally friendly um, but yeah I really really love this I love the buttons and I love the colour it goes perfectly with my over the knee boots um, and it screams autumn so yeah an essential in my wardrobe. Okay on to the shoe category um, because of course shoes are an essential in an autumn wardrobe um, but I really recommend knee high or over the knee boots for autumn winter um, you get the extra added warmth um, and they cover up your legs so that it looks appropriate for autumn winter um, you can wear tights um, and keep your legs warm that way and they look beautiful with little pleated skirts um, and things like that so I have a few here to show you um, that I recommend at different price points again um, these I bought last year from Zara, they're kind of an off-white cream colour, so again they're great in spring, summer as well, um, but I do still wear them in autumn, winter as well. So these are great for every season, and they were super affordable as well, I think they're only like £30 or something. I know they have a similar pair online this year, so I'll link those down below, um, but I really recommend these, they, are, they go with every single thing on this rack, um, they are the perfect kind of colour for me. Um, and I love the round toe, so definitely a cream or white pair of knee-high boots is an essential for me in an autumn wardrobe. Moving on to a slightly higher price point, I have here my Fairfax and Favour Regina boots. 
these are if there was one thing that I would have to save in a fire it would have to be my Fairfax and Favour boots they just go with everything they fit my my leg like a dream they look so luxurious the heel height on them is amazing I have them in the heeled version but it's not too high I can walk in them all day long they're so comfortable they look so elegant so luxurious um, and I have them in I think four different four or five different colors um, I'm just obsessed with them if that doesn't show you how obsessed with them I am then nothing will I really recommend them and they are a little bit more expensive, they're around the £350 mark but for a pair of shoes like these, I've had these for a couple of years now and they still look brand new, just get the suede protect on there, they're a really hardy material, the sole is really good as well, um, so yeah if you're looking for an investment pair of boots I really recommend Fairfax and Favour. Okay up to the highest end of this price spectrum I have here my Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. These are in a slightly lighter brown colour um, and the first pair of over the knee boots that I have shown but these are again such a classic uh, classic piece with little pleated skirts and things like that. They keep your legs super warm. You can wear them with thick tights underneath um, and a little mini skirt. Put these on and it feels like it, it's more it's warmer than wearing jeans or trousers or something like that because your whole leg is covered. Um, but yeah, I really love Stuart Weitzman for over the knee boots. I just find their quality is unmatchable. I think that over the knee style is still really classic, especially for autumn. Um, so you will really get your wear out of them. They'll come back after, year after year after year. Um, a, a really good investment piece if you're looking to really splurge on a pair of boots. I also have a pair of knee high ones here to show you. Again, I got these off Vestiaire Collective. They were in... Um, a slightly poorer condition but I didn't mind because you can get these scrubbed up at the um you can get them like cleaned and stuff so I will probably do that because I wore them quite a lot myself last year they're in this kind of light beige colour um, I also have them in like a taupe colour um, but this is my favourite style of boot that Stuart Weitzman do it's slightly over the knee but not like thigh high um, and they've got the, go uh, the gorgeous little block heel um, which is the perfect height for walking in the brown ones are slightly higher than these ones um, but this is my ideal pair of Stuart Weitzman boots um, and I have them in two different colours like I say. Okay, let's talk about coats for autumn. So in autumn, the weather is obviously not as cold as winter, so you need a kind of lighter weight coat. This is kind of a trench style, however it's in a kind of thicker... Um, thicker material, a wool effect material, but it's this little trench coat from Forever New. I picked it up off of ASOS. It was slightly higher in price point, but I, I find with such a classic shape of coat, and if you feel amazing in a coat, um, you will more likely reach for it, keep reaching for it, which brings the price per wear down and it ends up an essential in your wardrobe. And this coat really has for me. Um, it's in the most beautiful kind of light beige taupe colour which goes perfectly with my autumn wardrobe and it's just the right amount of thickness. This definitely isn't a winter coat. Um, it is in a slightly thinner material and it's not wool either so it's not going to keep you as warm as wool would um, but it's a great autumn coat and I do recommend it if you're on the hunt for a coat such as this in a slightly more affordable price point. If you are looking for a more affordable coat I recommend Zara. Zara, this one again isn't wool um, but it's a cream coat and I recommend a cream coat in your autumn wardrobe. It goes with all the different outfits and this one actually is a kind of midi maxi coat so when you're wearing midi skirts um, this is the perfect type of coat to go for um, I've bought this out year after year it needs to go to the dry cleaners currently um, because I do wear it in spring as well um, and it is my work coat so it gets a lot of wear out of it and considering it's cream it's actually not that dirty um, but yeah it was quite affordable I think it was around the £60 mark and that's really good for a coat such as this it looks quite good quality and especially when you style it up in such a classic way with maybe more luxurious materials such as silk things like that it does look more expensive than it is but if you are looking for the premium of premium coats I cannot recommend Burberry enough I actually picked this trench coat up off of uh, Vestiaire Collective and this is actually their cashmere wool blend um 
trench coat so this was a very expensive full price but I actually managed to pick it up off a of Vestia collective for under a thousand pounds which is amazing for a Burberry coat especially one of this material um, I actually think that I would get the most wear out of this one than a normal trench coat because it is warmer you can wear it in spring summer um, and in autumn winter um, as I mentioned cashmere is a thermal regulator so it keeps you warm in winter and cool in summer so this is definitely uh, a better investment piece for me I think than just a normal trench coat um, and although it's expensive it's timeless it will never go out of style the next essential for me um, is of course tights um, so in my autumn wardrobe I tend to go for more sheer pattern tights and then when it comes into winter I will go for a more thicker um, opaque tight or or kind of cashmere tights um, just because they're a little bit warmer and there's also those nude fleece ones that you can get from Amazon and put your normal nude tights or different coloured tights over the top which keep your legs super warm um, but yeah the, the three essentials that I would have to say are definitely a pair of brown tights Usually most people opt for some sheer black tights, but for me, brown is more fitting. It goes for my brown skirts, my brown cords and things like that, and I think a pair of black tights would just ruin that sort of outfit. Um, and you can equally just wear a pair of knee-high boots over the top of them. Um, also, nude tights, obviously, um, just if you're if it is if the weather is a little bit warmer you can just put on a pair of knee high boots just like this outfit the weather's not too cold today so nude tights are sufficient the ones that I've got on just now and these brown ones are from Calthedonia and I think they're the 30 denier ones um, and the, I actually get the the shaper range it's like the ones with tummy support and I don't get it for the tummy support I get it so that I can tuck my tops in and it kind of creates a seamless look under skirts and things um, so that's another tip of mine um, However, I also really like a pattern tight. Uh, these again, uh, these ones are actually from Folk, um, and they're just a really nice kind of cream lace tight, and they look really nice with all cream outfits, um, and they look really nice dressed up. Um, they just kind of add a little bit of interest to the outfit. Um, and yeah, they're really quite impractical, but I think they look pretty on. And then finally, just a pair of kind of sheer black tights, uh, just for the black outfits. Um, so yeah, those are the four different types of tights that I would really recommend. Nude pair, brown pair, black pair and kind of creamy lace tights or any type of lace tight. I think they always look beautiful in autumn winter. And my final essential um, in today's video is an accessory. And if you have followed me for a while, you know what this accessory is going to be. It is, of course, berets. <laughs> My little stack here, honestly, I am so obsessed with berets. They are the only hat that I will wear in autumn. And maybe a fedora if I'm really feeling it. But I just think that berets look so chic. They're so preppy. They go gorgeous with pleated skirts and things like that. Um, so yeah, berets are definitely an essential for me. I have a few here again to show you. I have this beautiful little pearly one. Um, this one I just picked up from at Tico Max. Well, my mum actually got it for me, um, but it was from Tico Max, um, and I just love the little pearly details on there. I think it's so cute, and it's cream, so it goes with a lot of my different um, outfits in autumn. It goes with my autumn colour palette. Um, but of course here I have a, a slightly pink one, it's uh, a lighter shade of pink um, so it goes with you know different outfits, it's not like too pink that it's too much if you know what I mean, it is still kind of like pastel so it looks lovely in spring as well. Um, again just a plain cream one, um, this one was from ASOS by the way and this one was from Amazon, it's got my hairs all over it. Um, but yeah, Amazon's actually really good when it comes to berets. If you search for wool berets on Amazon, it'll come up with the better quality ones. I always recommend the wool ones. They seem to, like, be, um, obviously better quality, but they're not as see-through and they keep their structure better. So definitely, um, get the wool ones. This one was from Accessorize. It's in a slightly pinky beige colour, um, but again, an essential for me. And finally, this kind of chocolate brown one that I got from ASOS as well. Um, so there's quite a few there for you to uh, pick from, but I think if you were to buy one, either a beige or a cream, if you have the same colour palette as me. I'm so guys, that is the end of the video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. 
Hopefully it's given you a little bit of an idea on what to wear this autumn and maybe it has highlighted some gaps in your wardrobe that you need to fill in terms of essential items for autumn. Um, don't forget that everything that I have shown in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with my discount code um, for Lily Silk. Um, so yeah, that is everything from me. Let me know if you have any other autumn essentials that you think that I have missed out. But yeah, that is all from me and I'll see you next time. Bye!